I'm going to open up Masters of the Universe Origins Clawful, and we'll talk about his character and appearance in the cartoon, and check out the figure overall. Warrior with the grip of evil. He has a working lever claw. Of course, artwork on the back, we got to watch out for Whiplash, which would be a great one. I would definitely want to get him if he comes out. Thank goodness they didn't go deluxe on Clawful just because he had a claw. Get the comic, which since Sun Man is in this wave, prominently featured in the comic. Not a character that appeared in the cartoon, of course, so he's going to have to skip my collection, but that is kind of cool that they were able to include a pretty well-designed line from somebody just trying to produce their own Masters of the Universe style toys. Those characters do have a lot of decent design, but I just collect characters that appeared in the cartoon. Although, Clawful is very different in the cartoon. We have Clawful, which will have the feet and the claw and arm of Buzz Off. Even the legs, we can see a little ridge here. It's going to be very similar to Buzz Off's feet, legs, the claw, even with the arm detail there, the mold. So very similar to Buzz Off. Now they didn't just do two claws on him. They got this big claw that does have kind of a pullback trigger here that makes the claw go up. We can kind of grasp characters and objects. The claw only rotates right here. Of course the other one does have a little bit of wrist movement now. Clawful kind of looks like he's wearing a mask. The way his head abruptly changes here. Uh, he's probably one of the more removed characters from the cartoon appearance. Much more snout-like in the cartoon. Almost like a Snake Man kind of theme, like he was supposed to be part of them. Uh, the figure has a little more crustacean-y sort of look here. I mean, shorter mouth here, more nose and ridge, like... Especially just the texture is more like some kind of crustacean, crab, lobster, or something. Especially the claw, of course, too, which in the cartoon he just had two basic kind of claws instead of his big honking claw here. Which, I think it would have been cooler if he just went ahead and had two of the big ones. You can imagine this mechanism being that complicated that they couldn't do that. But maybe it was at the time, and we're just kind of recreating the classic figures from back in the 80s. So a couple limitations here, kind of giving them their quirks and uniqueness here. Uh, color scheme-wise, too, in the cartoon, had more orange armor with just some blue. Here we just have a dark blue with red, and then his strange kind of skin tone, which is not particularly monsterly. He is kind of a normal human skin tone, almost, outside the armor, which is a removable piece. So you can just have your ripped muscle lobster man, <laughs> which gives him a unique look as well. Pretty different from the cartoon, but we're still going to just use him since he is a recreation of the original toy line of the time. This is what you'd have to use for your Clawful. So we got the club weapon here that's kind of got a little guard there just because he does have little stranger hands to be holding onto it. So go crazy with the big hand to hold it, but it's more designed for the claw hand to hold. Probably more meant for the other side. Sort of in the way the Buzz-Off figure was designed to hold the weird uh, curved handle part instead of the straight. But he does hold it about any way you put it in there. And you can use the big claw if you want it as well. Just kind of a club. Pretty nice with the handle. It is a well-designed piece. Pretty unique. And then again, they're always pretty good at picking a color where this green just kind of stands out even more with his color scheme. He didn't get the orange of the filmation, but here just the green weapon really completes his color scheme. Looks really awesome. Could have been orange just to... Kind reference some of his orange bits in the cartoon but they went green an extra color that kind of opposite some of these so it just makes him stand out really nice they knew what they were doing back in the 80s that's why we're not really changing much uh, <laughs> with these other than all the added articulation of course all the pieces come off you know the interchangeability but that's not really a feature that I'm looking for here I want the characters as they were uh, back in the 80s I don't really want to do mix and match bits. It is interesting he didn't get a lobster tail. Might have been an interesting detail. So basically a variant off of Buzz Off with some of the body parts. Has his own unique uh, weapon with a big claw. Doesn't quite look like the cartoon, uh, but I'd probably be more up just to keep this one if they did release uh, a filmation style clawful later. I'd probably just say, meh, I don't really need that. Just go with this one because part of my collection is just going off of the cartoon, but also just of that original 80s toy line that I never got to have as a kid, always wanted it. Now such a great chance to get it here with the Origins line. 
same colors and designs and everything, but with just little improvements here and there, with articulation and just a few other shortcomings fixed from that original line. And I open up all my Masters of the Universe Origin stuff here and all my other collectible figures and cool things from various movies, TV shows, and things like that. So give Clawful a like if you like seeing him all over here, and hopefully we'll get to see you in the next video.